Hello everybody, it's Dewey Paid back here today and taking a look at a little bit of mail I got today. Now this is a value of 44 cents from AliExpress and description of goods, circuit board, one, but I already have snipped it open. Now what this is, is a Arduino Uno R3 acrylic box. Now uh, looks quite interesting. Now I have a couple of Arduinos. I do enjoy these. This is I believe a revision 2 so I'm not sure if it will fit. And this one is a sort of a generic copy. I can't say fake because it's all open source. But so I think they match up. So I'm not sure of the differences on revision 3. We will uh, see if there's any difference. The snippy snippy out of the way, piece of plastic. So what do we have in here? We have a little bag of screws, almost look like M2.5s, maybe even 2s. They're pretty small. Some tiny little sort of acrylic spacers and uh, some nuts. We have a piece of paper Exciting! Oh, what piece of paper says? It's like photocopied. Let's have a look. Tear off protected film on this shell surface. Installed board two on board one. Um, installed the demo board to board one with four pieces of M2. 10 mil screws and fix the middle part with transparent washers. Um, then install board 3, 4, 5 accordingly. Lastly install board 6 and fix it with M220 screws. Attention! Shall not fix the crews with excessive strength to avoid damages. The crews? My crew? Aha, my hearties. Or it means my crew, as in my street crew, my dance group. Should really do a video on my dance group. I don't have a dance group, I jest. So, instructions over there. Now, before we uh, fit the crews, let me pick that up for you. The crews. Yeah. So what is the base piece? Big square one I think. So isn't that square? Now the big thing, will all the holes line up? If not, it's going to be a short video. Can't believe there's much difference between the revisions. Oh yes, the holes line up. So. Uh, Piece two, that seems to be piece two, and that should line up, mm, it lines up quite well. Looks like on the uh, fake Duino, lines up quite well as well. I'm doing things in shot, I'm terrible on video. It actually fits in a little bit better than the uh, Basically, that goes in so like that. Tear off a strip, let's not do that for a moment. Install board two on board one. Install the demo board. Install the demo board to board. Maybe this is the demo board. So put the screws, fix middle parts with transparent washers. So put washers in the middle, maybe? Fix middle part with transparent washers. Uh, then install 3, 4 and 5 accordingly. So this is 3, 4 and 5. So that must be 3. And 4s and 5s. I forgot to mention this was a pound one pound of money. I had to wait quite a while for it to come, but still 
a pound for uh, what I believe should be laser cut. I think you can sort of see the scorch marks. So laser cut acrylic. You try and get something made for one pound out of laser cut acrylic. Unless you have a laser cut machine. But even the acrylic would cost more than that, surely. And then the postage, I think, got that upside down. Now I see there's no reset hole. Mm, so we go. Ooh, this is where screws and nuts and washers come in handy. That ain't too bad. So I see. Yeah, probably would line up better, raise up. Obviously, I haven't got my washers in there, and that would come up a little bit higher. Just a few mil. Yeah, that's not too shabby. And uh, let's see how that lines up. Apparently, the holes line up quite well. This oh no. It's probably a. Um, I'll put all links to it. it. Was in the sale, so it might cost a bit more than the one pound, but of the equivalent of value. Oh, that's better. The reset switch there. It's a little bit on the. Uh, Headers a little bit on the piss there. I never noticed it. As I say, might line up a bit better. Might have to touch them with the soldering wand. Anyway, what I'll do, so I'm not fiddling around, is I will construct this and uh, come back to you. So uh, let me line it up perfectly, and there will be a nice jump cut if I can do this right. Let's line it up with those two knots. And I can do a magic trick where I go. So, there we have it. The uh, finished article. And I must say, I'm very impressed for a pound. Um, came with an extra washer, a little uh, nut, and a little screw. Um, pretty fiddly to put together, but I put the screws in and rested it down and span the nuts on and then put the screws in from the top. Just using a, um, just a bit to tighten them up and just a finger to clamp. You don't really need any tools. One thing though is my board, um, the header pin or the header rack is not soldered straight. So that is not accessible, which is the fault of the uh, cheap Uno, not the uh, cutout. And this uh, barrel port, even though it's wonky, still uh, allowance for it, which is good. It fits snugly. Already getting pretty dusty though inside, um, shows the fingerprints, but it's a bit better than just a bare circuit board. And also I noticed the reason can be quite sensitive sometimes. You can go to put your hand on it to pull a lead out and you've shorted half the stuff across and that can cause a fun and game so time sometimes. Um, no extra allowance for the um, extra header pins, but this is designed for the Uno R3 and I'm not sure how different that is actually. The o Uno R2 will fit but it doesn't allow you access to the um, reset button which you can always um, hardwire up a reset if necessary or if, you know you use a reset time to time it's a handy feature. I did make myself a little um, Stand for this just to uh, mainly so it's not now these are sh sharp but not that sharp but it's just handy to have it sculling around and uh, so uh, made up this little don't worry I got these um, 2.5s I believe little um, nylon not nylon nylon nuts and bolts and they're just a little bit too fat for um, here, I think, just the clearance. So, I'm redoing that one. So I need to resolder that header pin, take it apart, <laughs> which is going to be fun and games, to do that. Um, 
a head of pins, you just just give it a little bit of tension and just flash a soldering iron over it, and that should be fine. I haven't really bothered until now. Anyway, that was for a pound from AliExpress. I'll put a link to the uh, seller. As I say, that the might price may vary, but I can't believe it's under very much. But still, I'd be quite happy to pay, you know, five pounds, ten pounds maybe, for a laser cut acrylic case. All came in. Uh, had to wait a while for it. Um, don't know when it was posted. Untracked. Da, da, da. No. Oh. So, uh, until next time, I'm a Dewey Paid, and that's a little acrylic case, and uh, I've got all my crews done. So, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.